to the pandemic, many of you are looking for staycations, but before you set your sights on what to do, we're helping with a look at places that are now back open and what you can expect when you do get there. We're joined this morning by Greg Ralph with the Angel Fire Resort. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Crystal. Thank you so much for joining us oh, this morning. Um, you know, as I mentioned, a lot of people are wanting to stay closer to home these days because one, the pandemic. Two, we heard that uh, prices for airlines are going up. So maybe it'd be nice just to get in the car and drive somewhere, right? Yeah, the road trip is back. A lot of people are getting in the car, loading up the family, maybe the family dog and heading out and seeing what they can find. Yep, and there's so many places here in New Mexico. We're talking specifically about Angel Fire Resort this morning. So let's talk about, um, was Angel Fire impacted by COVID? Oh yes, dramatically. Last summer, we opened under dra dramatically reduced capacities or drastically reduced capacities for chairlift operations, mm -hmm. hotel, lodging, restaurants, inside dining was shut down. And then the winter, we lived through the, a lot of those same things. A lot of things reopened. Summer, we've opened at some reduced capacities, but things are getting more back to full operations, I'll say. And that's what we like to hear, right? Yes. It, it yeah. feels like things are kind of easing back up as we get more people vaccinated, the numbers are going down. Are there still any COVID rules in place? At we do Angel have, Park? we do have some. We're still, we operate under all the New Mexico Health Department state guidelines. Mm -hmm. So any restrictions on hotel capacity or inside dining capacity or gathering size, I think that's still for 150 people outside. I think that's still in effect. And we're still practicing mask wearing in our medical clinics and the places where it's required. So we basically follow the state guidelines, but it's been a lot easier to communicate without masks. You see people smiling. It's it's kind of fun. Yeah, and especially because so many activities at Angel Fire are outdoors. Um, and that's why we wanted to bring you on because a lot of people look at Angel Fire and we're thinking just skiing. That is not the case. How many outdoor activities do you guys have coming up for the summer months? In the summer, we pro we have at least a dozen ac mountain activities that are outside and outside is where everybody wants to go. We have the mountain biking, world-class mountain bike park, we have zip lining, we have all the lake activities on Monte Verde Lake, stand up paddle boarding, fish, fishing. We have these new Hobie pedal boards that are pretty fun, pedal boats for the little kids, um, hiking trails, the RV resort. There's a lot of things that just hiking, looking at the wildflowers. And right now we've had some good spring rainfall. Last weekend we had some good spring rain and it's officially gorgeous season up there right now. Yeah, Everything's absolutely beautiful. And we just saw from those pictures some of the activities that you guys can take part in, um, especially since they're outdoors. It makes it a lot easier because of COVID-19. Um, do you guys have any outdoor concerts or anything of that nature? We do. Um, on June 18th, we start our cool summer nights series. It runs until mid September. It's in Frontier Park. Um, it's right in the center of town. It's hard to miss the center of Angel Fire. Um, and it'll have live acts starts at five o'clock every Friday, runs through the summer. So it's a, it's a free event. A lot of families bring blankets set up on the lawn. We'll practice the social distancing. We'll comply with any mandates that there are for that event. And we're looking having a great time and getting some live music back. And I, I love what you just mentioned because a lot of people are thinking free sounds very nice. If you're throwing your money into other parts of your travel, that's a nice aspect that you can, you know, that you'll be able to take the family to. Um, for people at home who are thinking, I want more details about making reservations or, or maybe just checking out the sites at Angel Fire. How can they get that? They can go to our website. Just go to angelfireresort.com or punch Angel Fire Resort into Google. You'll get there. We've got some great offers. You'll see all the family things there are to do for kids and people outside all ages. All ages. I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, again, a great place for a staycation, especially outdoors. Go to our website, krq.com, if you want more details on that.